Welcome back to wagertalk.com. We've got NFL action, Oakland at the Kansas City Chiefs. Brian, oh, how fast things change in the NFL. A month ago, the Kansas City Chiefs were a team surging. They were at seven and three, looking like they maybe can catch Denver. And then the wheels fell off. And the wheels fell off starting right here three weeks ago at Oakland on a Thursday night game, which for all of my, as I like to say, Marcoisms, they were all in play in that game. If you wanted to hold your nose and take Oakland, sandwich spot galore, because they were playing off of the Seattle game where Kansas City beat Seattle. Uh, physical game anytime you play Seattle and have to turn around and play in four days. Huge negative, go on the road and play a team that was winless. Mm -hmm. And we always talk, and you bring out the stats about winless teams after what second week? Half, said, second, yeah. half, second half of the season, especially on the road, mm -hmm. um, they've been excellent. And Kansas City laid an egg. They got behind big in the game. They made a late rally in it, and they actually had a chance to drive and tie, you know, and, and win the game. But uh, Oakland came up with that big third down sack late in the game, and then almost had the fourth down. A, <laughs> penalty because the guy was still celebrating in the in the back and that just goes to show you and that's where I'm heading with this that this Oakland team they're young they're immature inexperienced and they had that big win make a mistake like that you know after a play when the game's not even over yet and then they went the following week and just got blitzed 52 to nothing yeah. 52 to nothing and you talked about the sandwich situation was it Kansas City have Denver on deck or something that was the yeah. that was the middle that was the as I like to say, that wasn't a sandwich. It was a foot-long hoagie for that one. Now you've got Oakland coming off of a big win last week against San Francisco. Even though this is a division game, the fact that they already beat Kansas City and then they beat, it's the other conference, but San Francisco's always been the big brother in, in the Bay Area with all the success the 49ers have had. For them to beat the Niners, that was huge last week. And I think we're looking at another flat spot for them here. Yeah, it was interesting because I was up in Reno uh, last weekend. Big 49er country. 49er and Oakland Raider country because they don't, well, obviously they don't yeah. have a team in, in Reno. But that's the two teams. And when that game was going on, that was a lot of fun because you've got your guys in your Raider gear, your guys in your San Francisco gear just going head to head. And it was one of those games that, you know, obviously everybody thought San Francisco was going to win. And Oakland took that lead. And it, it was very intense. It was a lot of fun. And you've got to think the players kind of mirror that situation, which would point to your uh, letdown here. The only problem is, is Kansas City playing well enough to lay a double digits here? Yeah, I don't, well, first of all, I don't like laying double digits on a regular basis with anybody in the NFL. But I just think that this is the spot to do it because, again, we talk about line value. And when these two teams played three weeks ago, Kansas City was minus seven on the road. Which again, if we just do the flip of the home field advantage, that's going to put them that they should be minus 13 here. Now I realize they've lost three in a row, so you're going to adjust it down some. But I think we're getting value with Kansas City because everybody's jumped off the ship now. Well, you, you do get a little bit of inflation in the line or deflation, if you will, when because your power ratings when you have a really good team against a really bad team. It's, it may say this should be 21. Well, there's no way it's going to be 21 because mm -hmm. the team just wants to win the game. They don't want to run up the score. So the line should be a little bit less. So I think the line's probably where it should be here based on the situation. I really wanted to play Kansas City, but I, the way they're playing, I can't. The spot screams Kansas City, though. All right, well, I'm a situational guy, and the situational spot does scream Kansas City, and I'm going to be there. We've seen Oakland already demonstrate that the, the immaturity, that they don't bounce back after their first win. I look for the same here. And they play a team, San Francisco, that, like Seattle, is a physical team. Not as much this year, obviously, but they're still above average of most teams in the NFL as far as uh, physical play. So I'm going to go ahead and take Kansas City here, and I think they're going to get some of the frustrations out. They get the lead, and because uh, they've seen leads go by the wayside in Kansas City, I don't think they take the foot off the gas in this one, and they were embarrassed handing the first win to the Oakland Raiders on national TV 
that's kind of embarrassing for them as bad as Oakland had been playing. So I think that they're going to take care of business here. I'll lay it. I've got them winning by 14, 28 to 14. We're going to go ahead and take Kansas City. Guys, if you want to join me on Sunday, I've got a rare 5% play. And I'm not on here every week screaming about a 5% play. I've only had 10 of them the entire football season. And that's college and pro. A lot of games, 10 of them. And I'm 8-2 and two with them, and I've got one this Sunday. If you want to check it out, head on over to wagertalk.com. And remember, at wagertalk, we put our money where our mouth is. When we release a 5% play, that's our top rating. You get 150% guarantee. You buy the play for $30. If it doesn't win, we will credit your account for $45 for future use from that capper. That's putting your money where your mouth is. That's it for this video. We'll come back. We've got another NFL game that's up next, wagertalk.com.